Hello, 8th grade. Today we're going to be working um, with worksheets with charts. The learning outcomes are to create a column, bar, and pie chart, change the chart type, change the chart layouts and styles, and create a worksheet and a chart. 77A is about the column, bar, and pie charts. So, charts are important because they show you information graphically. This allows the audience to better understand the data. You can create many different kinds of charts with spreadsheets, software, including column, bar, and pie charts. Column charts and bar charts compare values across categories of data. Pie charts show what percentage each value is of a total value. If you need help deciding which type of chart to use, you can use Excel's recommended chart feature. In this activity, you will pre prepare a column, bar, and pie chart using the default chart styles and default chart elements. Chart elements include chart title that identifies the chart contents and a legend that identifies the chart's data categories. The charts you will create are shown in figures 11.23. So here we have a column chart. Right here is the bar chart. And this one is a pie chart. Um, so we're going to open up our workbook DF77A Sales. And we're going to begin a column chart by selecting cells A2 through C5. Okay, and then it says to follow the path at the left to display column chart types. Click clustered column in 2D column section. So we're going to go to the insert tab, and then we're going in the charts group, we're going to find the column or bar chart, and we're going to click on the first option, the clustered column chart. Now if I hover over different styles, it will... Um, preview what they'll look like. Okay, so we're clicking on that one. And it says to click the chart title text box and we're going to key sales report. So I'm going to type in sales report right there. And then it says to click outside the text box to enter the text. Notice that the chart has a legend as well as the chart contents. We have our legend down here, and then we have our contents. To print just the chart, chart you're going to select the chart. and then print it as you would print other worksheets. To print both the chart and the data on the worksheets, select the chart and move it to the left below the data. So we're going to move it over here for now. And then print. In this activity, it says to print the chart. We're not going to print. Um, and we're going to save this document in our chapter 11 folder as 77A sales <clears throat> and then close it. Next it says to open 77A school and we're gonna begin a bar chart by selecting the range A2 through C5. And this time we're going to click on the insert tab, click the column um, chart, and we're going to choose the clustered bar chart and the 2D bar section. So if you hover over it, it tells you the names of the different charts. We're going to choose this one. And it says to key school enrollment and the chart title. 
Ooh, in all caps. And I'm going to oop, just click out to enter it. And I'm going to move my data right below, or my chart right below the data. And it says to save the chart as in our chapter 11 folder, 77A school. Okay, and then next we're going to open up 77A expenses. And we're going to make a pie chart. So to begin the pie chart, we're going to select the range A2 through B7 and click the insert tab. And then we're going to find the pie chart button and we're going to click the 3D pie chart option. And it tells us to key monthly expense. as the chart title Oop. and we're going to um, print the chart on the page without the data that's what it says we're not going to do that oops control Z we're going to move our chart so I'm just clicking in the white area and moving the chart below um, A and B our data and we're going to save it as our lesson our chapter 11 folder as 77A expenses and then we're going to close out of these okay moving on to 77B so the chart you initially select to display your data can be changed to other chart types to help you decide which type best displays your data. In addition to column, bar, and pie charts, you can select line, area, and donut charts. In this activity, you will change a column chart to a line chart, a bar chart to an area chart, and a pie chart to a donut chart. So it tells for us to open our documents. Let me move that in there chapter 11 folder and we're going to open up 77A sales. And it says to follow the path at the left to select the line with markers chart type to change the column chart to a line chart. So I'm going to select my chart and We're going to do it a little bit differently than our book. So I'm just selecting the chart and I'm going to click on the design tab and we're going to click change chart type. We're going to click on line and then over here I'm going to click on line with markers. Okay and then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see it should look something like the picture in 11.26. Okay, then I'm going to change the file name to 77B sales. And I'm going to close out of that. Next, it says to open up um, 77A school. And this time, we'll try it a little bit different. We will um, go to the insert tab. And we're going to change our bar chart to an area chart. So the area chart is in this line chart button. And we're going to choose the um, just the 2D area chart. So because our 
data was selected, it went ahead and did this. Now, if I wanted to change it, I'd have to click on the change chart type and then choose area. Okay, but we'll leave it as this for now. And we're going to name in this one also school enrollment. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll hit save, or we'll save as in our chapter 11 folder as 77B school. Close out of it. <clears throat> okay, next we're going to open up 77A expenses, click on our chart. And we're going to go to the Insert tab, click on the pie chart drop down arrow, and we're going to change this one to Donut. Okay, and then we're going to save this document as 77B Expenses. Great. Okay. Okay, so for Lesson 77C, next we're going to be changing the chart layout and styles. So once you've created a chart, you can change the chart layout to display chart parts such as axis titles, data labels, and grid lines, etc. That are not displayed in the default layout. Also, you can choose not to display chart parts such as the chart title legend that are displayed in the default chart layouts. The three buttons shown in figure 11.29 appear at the right of the selected chart. The chart elements button, the plus icon, shows the list of major chart elements you can display or not display in your chart. Those with a check mark display um, display, and those not checked will not display. You can change what is displayed by adding or removing checks. The middle button is the chart styles button, which is right here. Here's the chart elements, chart style button. Um, the chart styles button can be used to change the overall appearance of your chart, including the color of bars, column, lines, pie slices, etc. The bottom button, chart filters, can be used to choose the data points and name to, names to display on the chart. In this activity, you will change layout and styles of two charts. So we're going to open up 77A sales. <laughs> <clears throat> we're going to click the chart to select it. Then we're going to click on the chart elements button. And to display the, the data labels in the chart, we're going to click the data labels checkbox. Notice that the values have been inserted above the columns. To display the axis titles in the chart, we're going to click on axis titles. Notice that the axis titles have been inserted to the left of the vertical axis and below the horizontal axis. Click the vertical axis checkbox. Um, and we're going to key sales. Okay. And then click out the side the access box and then in the horizontal access box we're going to um, type salesperson. and then click outside the box. Okay. To change the chart style, we're gonna click on the chart styles button and we're going to choose 
select um, style 8. So that's style 2. Here is style 8. Um, we're going to save it as 77C sales. Okay. And then we're going to open up 77C or 77A school. Should look like that. And we're going to display the chart with access titles and data labels and without grid lines. So we're going to click here, display the chart with access titles and data labels, but without grid lines. And we're going to change the vertical axis to grade. and the horizontal axis to students. And then it says to choose a chart title that you prefer. So you can pick any of these, whichever one you like. Maybe I really like that one. So I would click on that and then unselect it. And we're gonna save the workbook as 77C School in our chapter 11 file. Okay. And then you guys are going to do 77D on your own and you are going to turn in your work once you are complete. Good luck.